Hi everyone, it's Dr. Rose Kumar again, calling you from the Omani Center for Integrative Medicine. I just wanted to give you some advice about how to reduce your inflammatory platform in your body, because if your body is not as inflamed uh, and you do get COVID-19, uh, you will have a better chance at recovery and resilience. One of the things with this virus is the body's response to it. When the body responds to any germ, it ends up creating inflammatory juices under uh, when the battle is going on between the immune system and the germ. And that infl inflammatory response with COVID-19 is highly, highly exaggerated. And when inflammation is an exaggerated response, the inflammatory juices that are produced as a result uh, destroy tissue. And in this case, because COVID-19's docking receptors are in the uh, lower lung um, areas, uh, the virus docks on the receptor and enters the cell and takes over the cell to reproduce itself. And when the immune system gets a hold of, gets the message that there is uh, a foreign substance or this particular virus in the lungs, it will uh, create an attack. It is designed for that. That is how it takes care of us. But that reaction itself is highly inflammatory. And that amplified inflammatory reaction is what's causing the lung damage in people that are getting this virus. Now, if your body is very inflamed to begin with, you're going to have a, a more amplified inflammatory response to this virus. But if your body is not inflamed, you will have a much better chance at recovery and resilience. So some very um, easy ways for you to counter inflammation and to actually reverse the inflammatory platform of your body in case you are inflamed. Um, and these are all lifestyle measures that you can take. So right now we are really an, in a pause uh, situation in the entire world. We're having to take a breath, we're having to stop everything. And this is a great opportunity for you to reduce inflammation in your body. Even though there's fear and stress, uh, if you can just focus on self-nourishment and self-care with some very simple principles, it's gonna go a long way for you. It takes about seven to 10 days for the body to change its biochemistry, to reduce inflammation. And so you wanna be doing this every day for seven to 10 days and you will feel it. You will feel the inflammation go down in your body. Your head will feel clearer. You won't have as much mental fog. If you have rashes, they may improve. Um, you'll know if your joints hurt, they're gonna feel better. So a few things that you can do. One is to eat a whole food plant-based diet. A whole food plant-based diet has 30, 40 years of evidence that it reduces inflammation. So you can start that now. Eat a lot of greens, eat a lot of lentils, eat the foods that have been shown over the, over the millennia to work to reduce inflammation. The Mediterraneans have a one up on us and their people, their elderly, are so much healthier than ours are because of their diet and lifestyle. So a whole food plant-based diet. If you're looking for recipes, there's a few websites that I recommend. One is forksoverknives.com, uh, the other is bluezones.com, uh, and the third one is actually my website, www.omanicenter.com, O-M-M-A-N-I um, is Omani, and C-E-N-T-E-R.com. There's about 45 to 50 recipes on my website, all designed by myself, and they have, they're all food as medicine recipes. The most, most of these are vegan, and they're easy to make, and they're delicious, and they're fast to make. So you may wanna start with these three websites and start to dabble and try how to cook a whole food plant-based plant recipes. So that's step one. Step two is exercise. Every day, get out there, get fresh air for 20 minutes, do aerobic walking. If you haven't been exercising, start slow and just build your endurance. 
Exercise is great for the liver, it's great for your tissues, it's great for your lungs, it's great for your heart. So there's no downside to it, and it will really help enhance uh, reduction in inflammation. The third um, thing that I would suggest is take a few moments every day just to deep breathe, just to really focus yourself, center yourself, and your mantra right now should be, we are in this together. We are all in this together. We are all going to be going through some phenomenal changes. It will be stressful. There is a lot of fear out there, but what we can do is really push the pause button for ourselves, take a breath, and really focus on the fact that we're not alone. Um, the fourth thing you can do is really keep your liver clean and reduce to minimize any alcohol. If you're under stress, do not drink in order to counter your stress because you need every capacity of your liver right now. And that liver needs plants and it needs to be vibrant and healthy to be able to uh, assist the immune system in its job. And then the, the fifth uh, thing that I would suggest is to take a broad spectrum probiotic, five L's, five B's, five lactobacillus, five bifidum. The one I recommend is on my website, www.omanicenter.com. On the home page. if you scroll to the right, you will see a tab that says uh, buy Orenda. It's on that tab that you can click and you can actually go to the Arenda website and order the Arenda Ease, E-A-Z-E. -E. They will ship it to you. It doesn't need refrigeration. It's one a day. It has 10 digestive enzymes, 14 strains of organisms, and a prebiotic. And this combination, if you can follow through with that, in seven to 10 days, you will have a less inflamed body and a better chance of recovery with COVID-19. So that's it for today. I hope you do really well with this. I hope you start today. I hope you nourish yourself and be well. Take good care.